So in this tutorial I'll be unwrapping this model of a booby made by German 13 and this will show you the basic techniques and methods that you should use to unwrap your own models. So um turn off the armature here so we don't get the post version and we can also hide the mirror modifier and now turn to edit mode you can see we don't have any seams here this is like it came from modeling so well first of all we've got to split our window and for that um, right click this header bar up here and go to split area and then split it here often it, it doesn't really want to work but you've got to try and then eventually it will work okay so turn this window here into a UV image editor and well, you can see it was already unwrapped. I'll undo that. Okay, so now if you um, press U with the cursor in the 3D view, and you get this menu and you click unwrap. And now you get nothing that you could really use. It's more or less crap. So um, we've got to tell the program to um, split the UV at certain places because you see now we've got the lag inside here and we don't want it and we we get severe distortions if we would use it like that. Oh and another thing you can um, very useful um, you can create a new image and about near yeah, well I'll use one with uh, this dimensions uh, half the height the width and create a UV test grid which makes it very useful and unwrap it again because the format has changed Okay, so now format fits, and you can see we've got this nice grid here that which will help us um, uh, find distortions in the UV. And now we've got to turn this to textured display, and also make sure. Oh. Okay, and um, there's another mistake here. The normals don't point in the right ways. Control N, we calculate normals outside, and it has a problem somewhere because you can see the texture only from the inside, and we don't want that. We want it visible on the outside, and well, where might it come from? This is usually when you have unneeded faces. I'm looking for the mistake and what might it be? If you try to find um, this kind of mistakes it often helps to only select parts and then try to figure out where it doesn't work. This one seems to work. Um, now let's take everything but the wing Control N. okay this also seems to work so probably there's no mistake after all just um, because the wing has those alphas attached this often gives problems because there you have uh, this normal flip problem you could it avoid it uh, you could avoid it by um, using two 
alpha planes, one for the up and one for uh, the downside. But um, this makes uh, rigging harder, and it is re uh, really um, seldomly used. So now it's all right. And unwrap again. Okay. Um. So now you see. Um. We've got quite a lot of errors here, and that's not how we want. It. This is not useful. So we've got to start putting seams, placing them in the right spots. So um, first of all, we're going to start with the leg, and to do that, we can use um, a nice little trick. So we can see the leg clearly. We select um, the body, and once it's selected, press H. This hides it. Later on, we can um, show it again using Alt and H. Okay, so now from the top, we can um, we can try to unwrap this alone, and we you see this doesn't give a working result. So. We've got to place a seam somewhere, or rather, a few of them. So, first of all, this has to um, go along this cylindrical shape of the leg, like this. And what happens then is, if you, and then you, once you've selected this row, you Press Ctrl E and mark seam. You know the this um, edge row um, is highlighted in orange. And now, if you select ev um, everything and press U, unwrap, you see it's already a whole lot better. So instead of this, um, like it was before, we can see that this was unwrapped and we've got this shape projected nicely but we've still got a problem with the, the foot itself um, so to avoid this we select the we want to separate the underside from the upper side and so we Go one time around the leg, uh, the foot. Sorry. So we select the outer vertices and go around and around. And be careful not to. Ah, be careful not to get anything you you don't want. You see, I've already gotten some some um, whole faces selected so we've got to deselect those later on okay so we could go one time around or we could just I think we'll stop here And that should work. So now Control E, Mark Seam, and now we've got to select these that we don't want because otherwise we will get a single face here, and we don't want that. We want it to stick to the rest of the foot. So we select this and Control E, Clear Seam. And now the orange highlight is gone, and also this one. And now we can try and wrap it. Okay, and that's pretty good already. Now just one thing: um, the toes are still there. So we have a look. How is it built? Okay, you can see it goes in there. Okay, that's a bit confusing. 
So you, we could either, I will just add one loop here, and that should, oops, mark seam, and that should be enough, would you work properly, you unwrap, no, it doesn't really work, so we've got to do the long way. So select these and then clear this one. And now we, sh we should get something working. Okay, this is pretty stupid. Then we've got to change the topology a bit because it gives distortions and this is annoying so we do a workaround and remove this topology that gives us problems and now we've got none of these holes anymore and that's probably gonna work better anyway Unwrap. Where is it? Um, top. Should be this one. Um, is there still a face? Oh, remove doubles. I forgot to remove the doubles. Duplicates. Uh, maybe there's still a face. Now try it again. And now it works properly. The way it's supposed to be. So um, quickly remove in here and here and here and remove this. And merge these. Remove doubles. And yeah, now we can add those seams back in. So clear. And around here because this we go only until here because this is where it will wrap around and for this one make sure this is clear now go around here mark go around here mark and now it should be all right oh there's another toe so this one also gets the same procedure Like all the other ones, and now remove doubles, remove this, and now also add the seam, and now that looks pretty good. Mm, so we've got the foot and leg all nicely unwrapped. So now we can um, show the rest of the of the animal old age and it's back. And now if we unwrap it, the whole thing, um, you can see while it's still distorted, it's obviously there in the right way. But the distortion comes from something else because the wing is attached here. Okay, there we have some s sort of weird structure. I don't really know what's causing this. There's probably something wrong here. So, um, best guess is to remove these faces. And 
control N like it. And now it's looking pretty good. We'll deal with these faces later on. Or actually we can just add them back in. Now you see they're facing inwards. So we've got to either flip them or try to recalculate them. Okay. Um, undo and flip those faces. Um, w uh, flip normals. Now they're facing outward, but as we've added them um, afresh, they are not assigned to this text. A texture yet so select all here and then select all there too and um, select the image we've created and now you can see they have a texture and if we now if we create a seam around here against the wing and unwrap get a pretty nice result for the body and um, now we can have a look at the wing try to find out how to unwrap this one in a convenient way and um, it's actually pretty easy because we can simply select it and actually we've got every um everything and this is really weird don't know why it's unwrapping this one so strangely okay so top view we've got something we don't want down there top view and you and this time not unwrap but project from view and now you can see we've got this really nice projection here and here and we'll pin it using or having it selected in the UV editor and press P and this um, um, prevents it from being recalculated by the UV unwrapping. So if I now select everything again and press U unwrap, oh, the wing gets distorted. So we've got some very strange problem with the wing normals here, and I still don't know what's causing it. Okay, so here we've got messed up normals. You don't see that in in texture view. So now we see it. And now we can fix it. Okay, so everything behind this has to be flipped. Sometimes you've got to do this stuff manually. This simply no way around when recalculating doesn't work so we've got to flip this and flip this and flip this face oh no flip all of these and now it's looking good and now we can go back to text strip view uh, down here and now if we unwrap it again oh no we've got to project it again it was screwed up somehow so select everything and so take take the whole wing and go to top view and view 
project from you. And now you see it works. And now we can, um, as it is still pinned, now if we ungrab the whole thing, it will stay in place. And it does. And now we can um, align it properly so we've got a, um, the same size of those squares on, on all um, of our UV parts. So we've got the same resolution for the image. Now it's too big. Yeah, now they're roughly equal. You can see here and here and that's how we want it to be but now um, we've got not enough space in our UV map so we've got to do something about it and that is try to use the, spa um, the space available in the best possible way we can turn here to the um, 2D cursor and now scale it around and now we've got now make it a bit smaller because we need some space here and take it here and here and now you can see the wings are alright, and the feet are alright, and the head, well, we could use it, but it's not really good. But the tail can't be used like this, because we've got intersections on the alphas, and that's not going to work. So um, we can pin those parts that we like. So this is... Um, yeah, well, this area I like, and also this is also nice. And now take this that we don't like and just pin something only a few vertices and move them to a place where they should go and then take this one also move it up here and maybe unpin those and now if we unwrap it you can see that the rest lines to this a bit better okay unpin this one okay so this one has to be shorter and this one longer and then you see with a bit of experimenting you can get some uh, pretty good results without having to um, having to have too many seams you know with this procedure you can avoid most seams because you simply don't create them because you keep everything together and it looks better it makes it much easier to be skinned and now I think we should separate the inside of the mouth of the beak so we take where does it start we select this row both these rows and mark the seam now unwrap it again okay and now you see well the beak is too large so I will get rid of this one for now um pin this one here and 
Well, it's still larger than the average, but we can live with that because um, it also gives us more de detail for the important area because the face is always more important um, than body or something like that. So it is also more interesting and better if you have more detail there. Um, oops. You unwrap. Okay, and now we can pin this. Oh, we can get to move this one uh, somewhere where it doesn't bother. Make it roughly the same size. There. Move it down here. Pin it. Now pin everything. And now we've usually or well, this only makes sense if you want your animal to blink what comes now um, and for that you would select the eye and and all well better create First of all, create a seam around it and then select it and you can simply take it here and resize it a bit and move it outward. And now you can see we've got the eye and now I think we can make it a bit bigger, slightly because we want to use up the UV space as good as possible. And you see it was possible to increase the size slightly a bit, a little bit, but the more or the larger you'll get, uh, the more efficient it is because otherwise you would be wasting uh, texture space and obviously um, also performance and now we've got this unwrapped pretty nicely and well that's it